and goes in and they're ready to go. Field is set. Racing in the diamond. Miracles of Life and Godiva Rock began well on the inside and the bowler beat them out. Away very quickly in the early stages, Metastasio and Monsegu as they settle down, but Metastasio leads at Stablemate. A battle link in front of Monsegu and Gregors is going up quickly on the outside and the bowler drives through the fence in the red blinkers. A length further back, Kona Breeze, Miracles of Life about sixth on the inside, followed by Seamus Breeze and back behind those horses, Guelph three wide around Dissident and Godiva Rock. And then came Quest for Peace, I Am Titanium towards the end at the 600 metres. And they're followed then by Fast and Rocking and Cracker Road, he was last. Up to the turn and Metastasio by a length to Gregor's. A length and a half away, Miracles of Life working away from the rails and she's poised at the bend, followed by Monsegu. Then Godiva Rock and further back was Seamus Award. Guelph has pulled right to the outside, into the straight, Metastasio led by a length and a half. Miracles of Life lets down with a run, she sprints to the front. Godiva Rock's running on pretty well but miracles of life is two to three legs in front of Godiva Rock and then Gregors and back behind them fast and rocking but miracles of life miracles of life scores the fairy tale win second fast and rocking at save from Godiva Rock and close up Gregors the inside and they're followed by Seamus Award Monsegu dissident and further back quest for peace followed then by behind them is up further back in the field then I am titanium then Metastasio and there followed well back is um, Guelph, or well, she never came into it in company with Kona Breeze and the bowler, and Cracker Rodeo was virtually last all the way. Have a look at those shots there. That's what it means to the family of Lawrence Siakovich. It's one of the greatest stories in the history of the Blue Diamonds, one of the great stories of racing, an absolutely perfect ride by Lauren. Off the fence ride time, you can see her presenting, and it was just awesome. Whatever happens today, and you say we were great to be here last week to see Black Caviar, but that's tremendous. It shows that everyone can play this game. We saw a $25 million cult win the previous, and now Lauren, the 29-year-old apprentice, and Dan Clark and the horsebreaker coming out to win here. Uh, faith in racing. Tell the good stories. Oh, uh, is it ever. Uh, Daniel and Lauren, they come over here to the Blue Diamond, the richest two-year-old race in Victoria. They've got to take on the might of Darley, of Moody, of Hayes, and... She just rode that an absolute treat. You couldn't possibly ride it any better, could so, you, Sam? Uh, congratulations to Lawrence Stiakovic and da Daniel Clark. And, I mean, this is outstanding. And how cool was Lauren in that race? She bounced well, just sat behind them, probably thought the bowler was going to lead them up. She ended up being three back on the fence, just angled to come one off, then gave him a bit of a shove coming up to the turn, had clear running, just rode it with so much confidence. Uh, that was outstanding, and what a buzz. Uh, coming into the straight, I thought, this is home. This oh, is yeah. home. And you knew that she only had to finish the race off like she did last start, and, you know, just shows you barrier one. Not a drama. Not a drama. No, and she didn't panic at any stage. Doesn't she drop them, though, the little filly, when she goes? It's... It's all over in the space of 50 and 60 metres. They just they can't go as fast as her. Now, there's some value here behind her in the, the multiples. The numbers here are 10, 7, 15 and 14. 10, 7, 15 and 14. But uh, this day's all around this, about this story. I know we've seen a magnificent colt in All Too Hard, but uh, the focus of this day has got to be on this great story here. And uh, she just what? put them away. And that's her family there on, on screen, and Bruce is with the family now. Uh, Nenard and Nenard and Millie, I don't think you need to say anything, oh, but you can. Good. I can't believe that. that is as good as you will get, as good as you get. I, I wish people had got kids that are, are jockeys and are doing apprenticeships. Just hope they could feel like I feel about my daughter. It is it's just unbelievable. No, you, you never miss uh, a race meeting she rides at, do you? Not if we can help it, you know. We don't go to Lincoln, but all the others we get in our car, we go to Port Augusta and we'll go anywhere else with it. Amelia, for you, what does it mean to you? I can't, I can't. Proud, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. She's so coming back. Well done. And uh, Dan Clarkin. Come over, Josh. <laughs> Dan Clark and um, oh, well, you don't have, have to say much, do you? You don't have to say much, do you? That, that, just, like I said, that ride was just 10 out of 10. Um, she knows the horse, she knows what she's got, and she used it to her advantage. And brilliant ride, brilliant.
But on your behalf, though, you've got to give yourself a great pat on the back here for getting this filly right after three, four weeks off. Yeah, everybody, you know, it's a hard thing to do. Um, keep a horse up for a month and... Uh, yeah, it's been a big effort. But you never lost faith. Of course, I mean, everything was happening around you with opposition, but you always knew you had the right horse. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, she's only a little girl, so she doesn't need to be hammered or anything, and she's just done the job. You just won a blue diamond, Daniel. I just won a blue diamond, Bruce. <laughs> absolutely outstanding. Well done, mate. Thanks very much. And we'll catch up with Lauren Siakovic. Uh, absolutely brilliant scenes down here, and uh, you can see the emotion on the family. Uh, it's amazing. She had a... a, a a grin on her face when it went past us, Sammy, as big as the Luna Park one. She threw the goggles to somebody in the crowd. <laughs> this will be a day that she will never, ever forget for the rest of her life. And as Bruce has been painting the story all along in the lead-up too, uh, this is, this, these are the stories in racing that make you, you, you want to come because, and you make, you want to make people want to have a crack at having a horse too because it can happen can't it exactly and you see this filly turn up and she's in outstanding condition today daniel clark has done a terrific job with her and then lauren has gone out there and ridden her an absolute treat nothing faced there barrier one just sat three back and then just rolled up came off the fence it just all she just rode it perfectly and uh then away she went um it was, she's a magic little filly and uh yeah, there's more to come from. Oh, yeah, and what a, uh, what a, oh, it's a, just a wonderful story. And I reckon there might be some riders in Adelaide who can pick up another ride tomorrow. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lauren's entitled to have a decent party here tonight. She's uh, not only because of the story it is, but because that was just the perfect ride, wasn't it? You couldn't do any better than she did. Exactly, and, and we, we saw her when Lauren turned up today and we interviewed her before the race, and she's just been so relaxed and so cool. She knows what this filly can do. Uh, she's got all the confidence in the world in her, and, and she rode it exactly like that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, last 600 was 35. We'll get the last 423.41, but... Yeah, it's, the, it's the 50 to 100 metres that she, where she explodes, and that's that for the opposition. They just can't can't match it with a. That'd be her lowest winning margin, and it, and it was pretty decent anyway, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah, she's. Uh, and she, she just walks past this now. She's uh, pulled up a trait. Yeah, no, she's fine. <laughs> she could go around again. Hasn't yeah, worried her at all. Pocket it's, uh, rocket, isn't she? She is. She's not very big, but a lot of strength about her. She's a nuggety type. Um, she she. Turned out in terrific fashion today and right. plenty of spring in her step. Here's the interview we've been waiting for all day, Bruce. Well, we've seen it from the family. We've seen it from the family and uh, now we'll see it from Lauren. And uh, well done. Great emotion. Um, I don't know what to ask you, Lauren. It's been a big build-up, so i just say congratulations to you and take us through it. Um, well, it worked out more perfect than I could have imagined, really. I um, jumped her out smartly, gave her a little bit of a push just to keep her handy and... Um, sat behind the speed and then approaching the turn, they just opened a run for me. <laughs> That's a miracle of life. That's someone looking after you there. Yeah. And I just uh, quickly pushed it through and, and then she just ran away. She's, she's awesome. Did you have a chance to, you know, just give yourself a little feel close to the line there. You thought, oh, I've got this, I've got the blue diamond. Yeah, well, in the gates I said to Barbie, there's about a minute between us being good and great. <laughs> and um, after the line I told her, she was just brilliant and... Um, I didn't realise how good it could feel to cross the line in a group one. <laughs> uh, I think as good as that was, to come home and see your mum and dad, uh, special. Very special. Um, this time I was crying too, so that was... Uh, so everyone's crying, but I joined in today, so... Yeah, wow. You've just won the Blue Diamond. I know, wow. <laughs> Balaclava tomorrow? Balaclava tomorrow. I've got five right. What's the chance you're turning up there, do you reckon? I'll turn off. I'm dedicated. Oh, no. Well, you're a star. Well done. You'll be the great story of this race. All the people here. Well done. Oh, God. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lauren Siakovic, uh, Carolyn, um, we had a great day last week of the races. That was bloody good. Shut down a hundred suit.